It's been said many times, behind every great man is a great woman. The expression rings true for a number of female game changers whose impacts were brushed off or credited to the men they loved. But one Wisconsin woman is doing her part to highlight that these women stood behind no one. In today's Sunday morning spotlight, Stephanie Rodriguez meets a former researcher making sure that the world sees history through the eyes of the women who made it. I thought, is my freedom worth their dying? From famous first ladies Hi. to Golda Meir, who would become the prime minister of Israel. Historical first impressions. I could be Franklin's eyes, ears, and legs. Is a first person program that breathes life specifically into women who changed history. Women were cheated in many respects in the historical element of it. For 23 years, Jessica Mikna has combined her love of research and performing. But he gave me this pin, which I have always cherished. To share her joy of history with the world. I like to introduce the audience to those flesh and blood people. They're not just from the pages of history. They are history. Once I put these clothes on, this is Eleanor Roosevelt. When he was just seven months old, he passed away. I've seen these programs literally hundreds of times, and they still tear me up at times. Her husband, Michael Mikna, is her right-hand man, helping her revive these often forgotten women. She is probably the most talented person I have ever met. I think I would put her up against any actor or actress ever. I knew. America would soon be involved in that war. From their clothes to their accents, Mikna is very thorough, spending up to two years researching her characters' lives. And it's grand when people go up to you and they say, I've got to go to the library and read more about that. She was so such an interesting person. I didn't know she did all that. I have seen the bombed homes, churches, schools. I look at it as history is not which general died under which tree. It is all the personal histories of people who lived in those times. And that's what I try to bring across in introducing as a character, as that person in, in those widow's weeds. Countless hours are spent creating costumes catered to each woman. Most of the stuff I have to make, I have to research everything from the construction, from the fabric to the styles. And then I have to analyze would that person actually wear that garment? And this is about what lady would wear about in 1886. She's got her apron and so on. A seamstress since she was just three years old, Mikna sews everything from undergarments to buttons. But it's hand done. All the stitching on here is hand done. It's all meticulously done to make the women historically accurate. My husband copied that museum piece right down to the little bottles in there of medicine. The Mikna's travel the Midwest visiting schools, libraries, and senior centers. I learned to speak in public, and I kept Franklin's name alive. Sharing these important stories. It's not just a matter of, you know, oh, I did this in 1905, and I bought a new pair of shoes in 1910. It is the people that she met along the way, what they did with their lives, and they tell you in first person. Telling these women's truths while keeping in mind they were just like you and me. And on the back of the door she wrote, Mrs. Roosevelt peed here. <laughs> I don't make fun of my characters. They are sometimes fun. They have their foibles. They all screwed up because they were human. But I never poke fun at them. They're too important all of my characters. And if they made history, so can we. But it was over now. The story had ended.